I wake up Hi guys, welcome back to Sleeve Saturday. You know, I was 15 years old when Robbie Williams released his debut solo album in the early autumn of September 1997, and I remember it well. The bad boy of pop had just been ousted from the boy band Take That, and he was on the rampage to carve out some credibility for himself, and prove the doubters and his bandmates wrong. Angels was amazingly the fourth single from that record and turned a stuttering start to solo life into a juggernaut, propelling Robbie from boy band reject to pop powerhouse overnight. For me, Angels is truly a pop masterpiece and it's still as fresh today as it was back then in my teens. Over the years, I've kept an eye on Robbie's work and enjoyed some of it, but not all of it. The cheeky chappy persona and live performances sustained him as he tried, came close to, but ultimately failed to achieve another iconic track like Angels. Cut forward 25 years and a dozen studio albums later, and Robbie himself is like us all, older, greyer, and now pushing 50. But he's still on the hunt for glory as a quarter of a century on, he'll again release a new album in September. Ahead of that, last week he dropped the single called Lost. Robbie says for him, the song is about the times in my life where I've abandoned myself to reckless behaviour. Now look, to be fair, I understand that. For me, Robbie's greatest strengths have ultimately been his biggest weaknesses. His arrogance and cheeky demeanour, which fans fell in love with, is actually a false confidence to mask his insecurities. To be fair, that's what makes Robbie Williams so relatable to people. He's human. So with this new string-laden ballad, Robbie lays it all bare. A man who's been through the ringer of booze, drugs and the pop star lifestyle, but ultimately came out the other side. The lyrics are well written and poignant. The song is well produced, with Robbie once again working with Guy Chambers. So with all that said, why am I so bloody bored listening to it? Well, for starters, it's so one note. I mean, it never goes anywhere. I don't know where the verses end and the choruses start. It's just bland. And that's very disappointing because he can do better. Look, it wasn't just the big hits that made Robbie Williams successful. He had some fantastic deep tracks in his albums over the years. Track 4, Phoenix from the Flames, from his second LP, for example. But to put this out as the build-up to a new album is extremely underwhelming. The music video itself is stripped of colour. And look, sure, that does work sometimes. I mean, it added a timeless quality to the Angels video all those years ago. But here it just seems to be masking how cheaply this video has been shot. It doesn't even seem like Robbie has left his LA back garden. In between it all, the orchestra is spliced in, but in no way do I believe Robbie was in the same room as, or even met, any of these people. I'm not going to give up on this project just yet though, but man, I hope the album has better to offer. I think he needs a better single between now and the album's release, but it's so close to September that I don't think we'll get one. Look, I get what he was going for here with Lost, but he fell well shy of the mark, in my opinion. I'm curious though, guys, what are your thoughts on this new single by Robbie Williams? Are you even a Robbie Williams fan? Sure, let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel now. I'll see you next time. When I lost my faith in you